All right, what's popular, YouTube? Another day, another demo. Thought I'd just run the intro. It's not going to be a demo today. I I tweeted out the other day that the la that was the la the top 11th player is going to be the last video I do in Toronto. The next Coach Lau is going to be in Copenhagen. And, well, that was a fucking lie. Here I am still in Toronto. Um... Because basically, we gotta travel. Because we gotta travel to Blast for the Blast Global Finals. They haven't announced any of this. I'm leaking this completely to you. This isn't out there on Twitter. I'm just um, let me tell you about my day. Basically, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do a demo today. Just talk about stuff. Um, they we 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 were supposed to. I was supposed to. It's 5:25 p.m. Eastern right now. I was supposed to be on a flight to, Co I would have been landing in Copenhagen in probably six hours. It would have been six hours. This morning, I woke up. Uh, I was here with my girlfriend. She was going to drive home. She was going to drive me to the airport. Woke up at 5 a.m. after packing last night. Get everything together, take my shower, go downstairs, out the elevator, look at WhatsApp, got a message, update, we can't go. There's new COVID restrictions, this thing with your flight, you can't get you, whoa, they won't let you go. I'm like, oh my God. Another day in the office, honestly. The amount of things that happen when we travel... COVID or not, this has nothing to do with COVID. Uh, just when you're traveling, you'll notice that this is when you'll really, you'll really get to learn that everybody has their own rules, that there is not a global list of rules. And then like me, how is a referee making sure that everyone follows their, everyone has their own rules. Okay. The first time I flew to Copenhagen, uh, during Rona back in October, I got to the airport, didn't say a word. Lady asked me uh, for my passport and my and my passport, and that's I gave her my passport. She looked at it. She's like, "Do you you're you're flying? Where are you flying?" I was like, "Copenhagen," and she was like, uh, "I don't know if you can do that." And I was like, "Nice." It's going to be one of these days. Of course, it's like, it's early, right? I'm like, I don't, I'm like, I don't, I don't even say, she looks over at her friend. Her friend's like, can he, is he allowed to go to, like, they're having this conversation about whether or not I can go to Copenhagen right in front of me without asking me any questions, nothing. I, I'm sitting there, I have, I have my contract, I have a business visa, I have a, all this stuff. I don't want to be flying as much as the next person, okay? But I would much rather be flying to Copenhagen than casting from my living room again, okay? I've been through this before. It is not fun to do, and it is not fun for the commentators who have had to do it commentating from their room. Not a great time to travel. It's a little bit, it's kind of, it's ironic how it's empty in airports, which means it's nice, but it still feels like the wrong time to travel, you know, and everybody has to be very careful and everybody is very, very careful. I mean, we're constantly talking about like when I was traveling last time, getting tested uh, every week, sometimes, you know, days in a row for different events. I like, I just got tested and then I didn't need that test now. I have to go do another one tomorrow and I'm going to go fly in a couple of days. I got a new, a new path this time, but, uh, not going to be, uh, doing, not going to be doing the rate, the not, not going to be doing the next video in Copenhagen. No, unpacked my uh, luggage, set up my camera again. Here we are. And this time when we get, I asked for lights this time from blast, if they have them lying around. So that the YouTube videos can look better. Uh, we're just chilling today, by the way. 
imagine this like a live stream. Okay, so imagine this like a live stream on YouTube. Um, where we're just gonna hang out. So we look back. Okay, I was so dead here. Let, let's see. Look, look at the um. This was Sweden. No, no, no. This was Denmark. This was Sweden. Look how dead I was. And we were like, holy shit. Yes. But then we were like, oh my God. I was so tired. Look at this man. This man is exhausted. This trip I'm going on is going to be like a month shorter. This was, this was the longest I've ever... Okay, back in... Um, all the way back in... Let's go to my Instagram. All the way, for those of you who might not know, like from like who aren't here for years and years. Some people message me like, I watched your B-Hop tutorial four or five years ago. That's fucking all. I love that stuff. I love that stuff. That makes me glad to uh, have, have done this for so long. But, um, you know, it doesn't matter who... It doesn't matter how long. But it is cool to, to catch people up. So, okay. So, this is uh, this is my road trip across Canada to the West Coast. We did the East Coast and West Coast. Me and my best buds here. This is Tristan. This is Chris. This is Daniel. And we just did... We had the uh, objective to... Look at this. Reedy had to uh, put the, put the uh, boxer sticker on his race car. One of the sickest boxer sticker pictures ever. This is real. Uh, this was, um, our objective as friends is, was to, we went in 2016 and then 2019, some, if I can get in the dates right, I can't remember to travel and, and camp out in every single province in North America. That was our goal. And we still have yet to do the, uh, territories or anything up there in the snow, but that's next. That's what we want to do next. That'll be cool. Uh, this is Malta. Okay, here. Here's the trip. So, I did Blast Global Finals. All right, this date is, this is like December 16th, 17th, 2019. I went from the Prince of Bahrain, flew us out for Blast Global Finals, and then we went to Vietnam. I flew business from Bahrain all the way to Vietnam. It was incredible. I was lying down. I was on my bed, lying down on my switch, dinging the bell for tea, for chamomile tea, thinking, oh, I'm going to sleep for sure on this business class flight uh, across the world. I didn't get a second of sleep. I was so, I was just so happy. And uh, to, to land it, and then to land in Vietnam um, that way, nice and comfortable. We, I was there with my girlfriend. We went for Van Silly's wedding. Here is Van Silly. I used to cast with Van Silly. He's a, he's a Valorant caster now, popping off. Uh, me and my girlfriend went over here, uh, spent a month in Vietnam and then a month in Thailand, or like two weeks in each, something like that. Again, the timeline's all messed up. I bought these suits for 200 US dollars or less for the suit, the pants, and the shirt. And it was tailored in a one day, 24 hours. My man Duke Non at Duke Non Tailors did this. I've still got him on WhatsApp. I can hit him up for more suits. That's where I got the suit. This is where I got the red suit that I wear a lot of the times on like semis and finals. And I got a few. I got like four suits while I was there. I had this Auzai. That was made for me. Okay, maybe I'll tell the Auzai story again. I was in Vietnam. I I walked by a hotel and I saw in the lobby that the uh the bellboy he was wearing this I was I and it was like beautiful. It looked like this. I didn't know if it was Vietnamese or the hotel was Vietnamese or whatever. I like I was like, man, I seen that in movies. You know what I mean? It was traditional, it was just sick, like the aesthetic. I walked in, I was like, yo man, I really like that. And he didn't know what the fuck I just said to him because he didn't speak a lick of English. But the, the guy who was running the hotel at the desk spoke some English. 
eventually after some Google Translate antics, Google Voice Translate, I got that guy to get me the address of the guy who made this. And everybody's a tailor in Vietnam and everyone's an A-plus world-class tailor in Vietnam for cheap. I found this place. It was actually very close to me and my girlfriend's Airbnb. Got this made for 70 bucks. Custom tailored in 24 hours. I'm wearing it with the red pants. Uh, went to the wedding. And then we went off to Thailand. The elephants thing. Uh, the islands. Uh, went to... Kolanta was riding around on this. What a wonderful experience did that. That whole trip was 64 days, 60 days, 61 days in total. I think it was all, I think it was, this was less time I did. Oh, and, 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 and I did after this, uh, three weeks after, right after this trip, three weeks I flew from Vietnam to London to do three weeks. London, London, London. This is the best photo that came out of the whole thing. Uh, this is us watching, walking through Shoreditch, which a bunch with a bunch of stuff we bought from like the thrift stores, the glasses. I bought the hat from there. And three weeks in London into. Actually, that, that was my longest trip. This is by far my longest trip. What am, I, what am I talking about? This is insane. And then I did three weeks in London. And then I did... And then I went to DreamHack Leipzig. That's where I met Febby. And and then I went home. And th th I did all of this shit, right? Oh, my God. So many experiences. You know... Blast London was probably the best three weeks of my whole life. I got paid every day. I got to do what I love. I got to, like, it was just the pinnacle of everything that I do. It was Counter-Strike. It was commentary. It was, you know, it was getting all, it was, like, going all out in terms of, like, my hair. Like, I was, like, I had my nails painted my hair. I had fresh suits from Vietnam. I was, like, it was just peak. It was sick. That was the only moment I think in my entire life where I feel like everything came together at once. Uh, which is pretty awesome. And all of these experiences in like two months, it was a great time. Um, you know, and then this last this last trip, it was about exactly the same amount, something like the exact same amount of time, something like that, maybe a little bit less time in total. And kind of around the same time of year, it was October 26th all the way to December 14th. I believe those are the dates exactly. And uh, it, but, but it was like in Copenhagen, it was, you know, a little bit of winter. It was stu studio to hotel, studio hotel, careful because of COVID it was a lot of like rinse and repeat, and then it was going to uh, Sweden, then coming back, um, and then it was yeah, it was it was harder, it was harder, but uh, it's still doing what I love, and it was still in terms of work, some of the best um, in terms of the work. I even liked the casting there. I think the casting got to a new level there, and so yeah, no matter what, even though this was just like the best, you know, best time of my life. Being able to go out to um, being able to go out to Copenhagen for these last couple of months, I it, it didn't matter that I couldn't go anywhere. It still was such a good experience. It was just more tiring. I don't know why I'm talking about all this. All I'm saying is, no matter how hard it would get to travel or to do something like in my in in this job, I would do it every day. I would do it. Just for this, just for moments like this, I would do it. A hundred percent, I would do it. It's great. So, yeah, I'll be there in a couple days. Keep going on YouTube, logging the journey as we go. It won't be quite as interesting as other, you know, in the future when we have events where there's like, you know, meet with, we meet up with fans or be players there. We do an after show maybe. Those are those videos are gonna pop off. Mad stories and stuff. 
Now these ones, these last 20 videos, very player focused. Not as many stories, but still huge intros. <laughs> Long intros, lots to talk about. So much CSGO news here in the offseason. Um, so just trying to decide what to do next. I don't want to take it too seriously. It's still a video a day. So, you know, ideas to do bold predictions, cover those. Today we had, um, with HLTV, the uh, Searson was top 10 and... Searson was top 10, and uh, he made the bold prediction of Flames, Flames Z, which is somebody we've done a video on a long time ago, but of course, there's a lot of new viewers now, I think. Some of you may remember, but Flames Z is somebody who we know is good. This kid is a huge potential. My opinion, he's like next Stewie 2K um, in terms of his play style, how he's entering the scene. He's in a smaller scene. A little bit, but he's got two shoutouts so far in the top 20. I think he's a very, very, very strong player. Super, He's good at putting pressure and playing aggressively. And I think that that's actually a rarer form for a player to get to be good in and get noticed in. Uh, I'm, I think he's going to fit very well into the current meta. He knows how to work the map. He understands the value of map control. That's what we keep saying about Flamesy. So maybe going over the bold predictions... And maybe following along for whatever the top 10 that we want. Uh, but yeah, we have done... Somebody said the idea to do the top 10 players again for the HLTV list. Uh, do players that we missed in the top 20. Which, that could be interesting. Because then we could do um, the first like six players <laughs> that we've never done. JKS, Breeze, Henny, K Serato... Crims Brolin. That memory. We didn't do any of those, so that, that might be cool. Or we could do... Yeah, we could do that. Or we could do bold predictions. I don't know. Man, I just started the video. I was going to do test recording, and then I did the whole... Um, the whole vlog. Didn't even uh, finish my coffee. I, you know what I wanted to do is epic. I wanted to just do it a I'm stuck in Toronto vlog again to complete the to complete the the triangle to complete the triangle Copenhagen, Sweden, Toronto. Finally, I'm stuck in Toronto. It's exciting stuff. I will be able to do one video tomorrow and then. Oh, maybe I'll be able to do... No, I'll be able to do one video tomorrow. And then I... Th I think I'll be able to do one video tomorrow. Maybe another video the day after. I'm not sure. But for now, here's a, a vlog to tide you over. And just use the comments to talk ideas for anything. We want to do more series in the long term. It doesn't have to be right now. It's wherever you think the channel could go and... Uh, any 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 ideas? I'll, I'll write them all down. I've been executing on a lot of stuff, and yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. So, cheers, everybody. See you tomorrow. Who knows what we're gonna get?